In this video, we are going to learn about dependent events. In order to do this, we'll think about an example of two events that are dependent on one another. The two events are going to be that it's raining outside and the other event is you have an umbrella. Okay, now if we think about these events separately, we could figure out probably the probability that it is raining on any given day. And let's just say for the sake of example that the probability that it's raining in general is 30%. And the probability that you have an umbrella in general, if you just thought about all the days in a year and how many days do you have an umbrella that you're carrying around, the probability that you have an umbrella, let's just say, is 25% in general. Now, what about if you already knew that it was raining? So you've already determined that it's raining. You've fallen into that 30% of the time when it's raining. Is the probability that you have an umbrella still 25%? I would say probably not because I think that these two events are dependent on one another. If it's raining, you're much more likely than just 25% chance to have an umbrella with you because maybe you looked outside, you saw it was raining, and you grabbed your umbrella. So that's one of the days you have your umbrella. So when two events are dependent, what that means is that their probabilities change when one happens. Whereas when two events are independent, the probabilities would be the same no matter what. So the idea is if we already know that it is raining, the probability that you have an umbrella is not 25% anymore because we already know it's raining. There's probably a much higher probability that you have an umbrella. And I'm just saying, let's say the probability then that you have an umbrella is 90% because when it's raining, you're much more likely to have your umbrella with you. So anytime two events are dependent, the biggest thing you have to remember is that you can't use the multiplication rule. Like if we wanted to figure out what's the probability that it's raining and you have an umbrella, it is not going to be equal to the product of the probability that it's raining, 30%, and the probability that you have an umbrella, which is 25%. That only would work if the two events are independent but because they're dependent, we can't do that anymore. So if you want to figure out the probability of both things happening in a dependent event sort of problem, sometimes you'll have to use other information that's given in the problem, or sometimes you'll just have to think about how the uh, sample space has changed since the first event happened. The basic thing to remember, though, is that you can't just multiply the two probabilities together. You have to do some extra thinking and some extra work in this sort of situation.